In this video, we will explore Kirchhoff's laws. First, we will talk about Kirchhoff's current law, or KCL for short. It states that the algebraic sum of all currents entering and exiting a node must equal to zero. Symbolically, the law is shown like this. First, let's understand that a node is a junction between two or more conductors. It's essentially where two or more strands of wires join together. Technically, a node is a point in the circuit characterized with a single voltage value, and this definition will become more clear when we work out some problems later on. What does the Kirchhoff's current law mean? The implication from this statement is that all currents entering the node is equal to all currents leaving the node. This makes sense because charge was conserved when going through the node, so the sum of all currents entering the node must equal to the sum of all currents leaving the node. For example, wires A and wires B are connected to wire C at this node. 5 amperes flow through A and 2 amperes flow through B. To find the current at wire C, we simply sum up currents A and B, so 5 plus 2 gives us 7 amperes flowing through C. So what the hell does this mean? Well, this is where sign conventions come into the picture. First, we must assign the current entering the node as positive and the currents leaving the node as negative. So currents in wires A and B should be positive, and the current in C is negative. Recall that this sigma notation means the sum of currents both entering and leaving the node. So in this example, we take positive 5 plus positive 2 plus negative 7, giving us 0. As you can see, Kirchhoff's current law holds. Now this is just a rearrangement of saying that the current entering the node must equal to the currents leaving the node, which is an interpretation I will use more often to solve problems. Kirchhoff's voltage law states the algebraic sum of all potential differences in any closed loop must equal to zero. Symbolically represented like this. But what is potential difference? Well, potential difference is literally the difference in adjacent node voltages. It's important to know that a potential difference must exist for current to flow. The most important question to ask is, how do we calculate potential difference? We'll leave this for now and we'll return our discussion on this when we talk about power in some other video. Getting back to KVL, we notice there's this term closed loops. What does that mean? It literally means wires making closed shapes. So for example, in this circuit, this is a closed loop. This is a closed loop, and this is a closed loop. So what KVL states is that within these individual loops we traced out, the sum of their potential difference is zero. Let's say we have this circuit and we got a voltage source of 20 volts and we already know the potential difference across each resistor. Notice that we also happen to know how each voltage is changing that is, whether it's increasing or decreasing. To demonstrate Kirchhoff's voltage law, we need to assign any voltage gain as positive and any voltage drops as negative. So that means this is positive and the resistors are negative, negative, and negative. When we add these values up, we get zero, so KBL holds. We will eventually see how these laws are applied when we work out some examples. For now, just take it as it is and we will move forward learning more components of the circuit.